Um, hi, this is Waga. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, give the video a like and leave a comment in the comment section if you have any. We're going to continue the series of videos on uh, views in Swift UI, and what we're going to be working with right now is the slider. Um, now the slider takes values from zero to one, and um, it takes continuous values or values that conform to the stridable protocol. That is, um, the values are continuous. So basically, that's all about, and you have to bind it, of course, to a state variable. And um, as always, best seen, not heard. Um, my, my canvas is acting up. I can't seem to get a view out of it. So we'll just use the simulator. So first things first, we could have a state variable. We could say state private var and this is going to be equal to let's say 0 0.67 make it two thirds the way there like so and after this we're going to have a a v stack a v stack like so wait that's horrible over there uh, we'll put a v stack like so and we can give it an initializer some space so you could say spacing and the spacing is going to be let's give it 30 our preferred number and um Let's tell ourselves what we're going to have here. This is going to be a slider and the font. The font size is going to be dot large title. Remember, these are the preset fonts. You could use, or you could set it, you could adjust it to just the right amount of font you want. Yeah, I believe we've done a video about that. And um, in the, oh, sorry, I forgot to give it the, let's give it a, a private variable. A value so in the slider here we could have a value we need the value and the value is bound to uh, well of course it's bound to our value like so and we could add some padding and the padding is going to be um, horizontal like so and um, let's let Oh, why is it? Oh, we need to give it space. Remember, this is Swift, so you need to give it a bit of space. So if we run this, we should see a slider. And yeah, so we can move the slider. But it would be cooler if we could actually see what we are typing. So we could add another text here. Like so, we could add a text here, which will have the value. So we could say, um, use a bit of string interpolation. Value is, and forward slash, and we have value here. And um, we can have a foreground color, make the color purple, like so. And we make the dot font is going to be dot title, not large title. Make it a bit smaller. So now if we run it, we should see the value. And uh, yeah, so this is 0 0.67. And we move it, we can see the various values all the way from zero. And when you move it to the other end, it goes all the way to 1.000. So basically, that is a slider. And um, one thing we could do is we could add um, we could add a bit we could add a range of values uh, that can be a range of values, maybe from a maximum to a minimum, and also change the step, the increment, right? Um, by what value it increments? So right now, it increments from zero point zero to zero point one, I believe. If we can look at our simulator we see it goes all the way and yeah so from zero to all the way to one but we could change the oh sorry i'm opening my browser um yeah and how we could do this is we could come and uh, under the value we could uh, implement a range and for range you type in like so and you say uh, you give it the the minimum and the maximum so you could say one to a hundred like so and um the step with which it increases we could say one like so and we could save this and um, maybe make it a more manageable number remember this has to be a number that conforms to let's see what happens if we just try to put eight we will get an error message we'll be told um the stride it has to conform to the binary floating point so if you want to put eight you put 8.0 like so make it a floating point so if we do that and we run it for some reason my canvas is still acting up um, we could have the value at 8 and it increases all the way to 100. So you could do that also if you want. Um, add a maximum and a minimum. Add a maximum and a minimum and um, increase the step. You could increase it maybe by also 2 if you want and whatnot. So that will act predictably. So let's go on to the next thing. Now the next thing we could do is we could add a view behind the slider, right? 
And for that, we could just come here to the padding and give it a padding of, let's say, 15. We give it a padding of 15, come down here and give it a background. Like so, and say um, the background, we're going to give a shape. We could say a capsule. A capsule, and we're going to fill the capsule um, with some color. Purple is our color, of, our preferred color on this channel. So we could say color dot purple, like so. And um, we could add an accent color. Uh, the accent color will be the color of the track, right? Uh, we could say an accent color could be, let's make it blue. Accent color is going to be dot blue. I think blue and purple go well. And we could also give it some horizontal padding. We could say, wait, dot padding and make it dot horizontal, like so. And so if we build that, we should see our, yeah. So you see the slider is here. Uh, the track, you can see the track behind it, not covered, is blue. And around it, we have a nice purple view. So a ni nice purple background color acting as our view using the capsule. So that's how you could potentially, there are many ways you could add, a, depending on what you want it to look like, right? Um, there are many ways you could add a view behind the, um, the slider. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, images. We're going to use San Francisco images to add them at the end of... Uh, at either end of the um, what's it called of the slider, right? So we could come here and we could command click, like so, and we're going to embed it in a H stack. And when we embed it in a H stack, what we're going to do is we're going to put an image, and uh, the image is going to be this is going to be the leading image, and um, we're going to have a system name, system name, and the system name is going to be this takes a string. We could take speaker. Dot fill. There's an uh, there's an app SF called SF Symbols. You could download it. Look for it. Download it, and you can see all the symbols and choose. And also with the symbols 2.0 that were recently launched, uh, I'm waiting for them to come out of beta so that you can start working with them. Um, you could you could have a look and see uh, what this what they look like. Yeah, there's a bit of there's a bit more color and things like that. So we'll look at them in the future when it all comes out of beta. So we could put this image here and um, put another image at the end so that it looks like the speaker. We could come here and we could say speaker dot three dot fill, like so. Now, if we do this, we should get, um, you see, we have a speaker here. And we have a speaker which is uh, on low and this is on high volume. So you could just increase the value depending on where or how high you want the speaker to be. So basically that. Yeah, so that is all about slider or as much as we can um, as we can work on. Uh, the few things that you can work with slider. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to have more videos like this coming up. And also like the video and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thank you and have a good day.